through that break, sir. I want to ask you, why did you want to go on the bus in the first place? You are a lawmaker. You're in Jerusalem. You could be passing a bill. Go ahead. I will explain. I will explain. Just one minute before your uh, question, I just want you saw me watching my telephone. Around the clock, I'm getting messages that people threaten my life. They don't scare me. Just, just put it on the table. Now for your question. You need to understand I'm a lawmaker. Just in this Sunday, last Sunday, I served a law that said clearly that if we have captures in terror organization like Hamas, like we have Avera, like we have Adar, in Oron, in Hamas, in our prisoner, prisoners that are, let's say it like this, walk in the way on this, of this organization will get equal rights. There will never be any more a situation that we don't know what's going oh, on with our oh, children oh, and the terrorists that sit in our prison. One second, don't bother me, please, yeah. Yariv. And the terrorists that sit in our prisoner will get five stars hotel. Oh, so oh, after, they, you know that we after are not a terrorist they decided to, they decided oh, to, let me ask you a question. We are not a terrorist organization. We are a, a state. Order. There are laws in the no, state. No, no, we you should not my, you know, treat prisoners Yariv, like Hamas is treating Yariv, prisoners. Mr. And it's counterproductive. Y one Just second. a deal between between us and Hamas will Yariv, bring back uh, Oron Yariv, and Goldie. No other gimmick will help. I can scream stronger with you. Yariv, the fact, the fact that you are screaming and make a I'm not, asking, uh, no polite talk with me doesn't mean I will answer you. The state of Israel will stand on our own. We will not allow the situation that we have captures in Gaza, that we don't know what's going on with them, and in the same time, terrorists that slaughter your brothers and sisters and my brothers and sisters will get five stars hotel oh, it's in not our prisoners. Five star hotel. There will Forget not be situation it. like this anymore. Five star you hotel. know, Mr. Oppenheimer, my brother, you need to remember oh, one second. We are brothers, but we think differently. Iran we think differently. Iran I think that you are harming the cause. You're not Perhaps helping bringing bring back Oron and Shaul and Oron and Goldie. Perhaps it's about time to put an end to the You forgot that yesterday the Labour Party... To put an end Guys, to I cannot hear all of you together, please. Okay. Alexander, go ahead. Yeah. One second. I think, I think you need to remember time. yesterday, well, hey, Iran or, or, I just or, want to say, the Labour Party come to support me. You know why? You may like it. Go ahead. It's about time to put an end to the inequality between who keeps the international law. Okay, when Hamas kidnapped these soldiers who was exactly. incapable of being a soldier anymore to fight, that's considered to be a kidnap. That's a violation of the international law. We are tired of keeping the international law exactly versus those who the Supreme just exactly feel is saying above that we are doing it. it. Okay? So perhaps it's about time. Perhaps this provocation, with all the implication that he had, he's a Knesset member, he has immunity. He can go and, and go on a bus and tell these people whatever they want to tell him, he's immune. And this message will be ten times more effective than, with all due respect, the speech that Adar Goldin's mother uh, respectfully, honorably, beautifully. Zero, 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 zero effect. The only solution, solution is the deal. Hang on, you're with Or. While I have, I want to ask you. We talked, enough, we talked or, enough, guys. You need to understand. We talked enough. I don't have power to talk anymore. Or, what's it's your message to today action. to the Red Cross? I want to get your reaction because today we're hearing from the Red Cross condemning what you're doing. What's your message to the Red Cross? And what's your message to your own government, to your From own this, prime minister? Okay. From this broadcast, I'm calling to the. Red Cross, to come sit with me, I will tell them the truth in the face. I will explain them why they are hypocrites. I will explain them what they need to do so we respect them. This is first thing. For my government, I just want to say thank you because my government is supporting my law to equal the rights of terrorists and captures in Gaza Strip. We have strong government. We have strong prime minister, and we're going to fight terror. Enough, it's enough. We will not sit quiet anymore oh, no one is when sitting terrorists quiet, come into our but, houses oh, and slow be honest. Oh, oh, and you are, we will not you do are this. And guy. Yariv, Let's be you honest. need to, you oh, need to support this. Oh, and agree with me on two major yes, things. First of all, if you want to stop terror, solve the conflict. Then there will not be terror. Second, if you want to bring back Goldin and Shaul and the other Israelis in Gaza Strip, come Street, on, come on. You know it's not true. Exactly, you know, wait, you know exactly it's not true. like you did with Shalit. 
No talks on the Mars? media. Yeah, go ahead. No bills in the go Knesset. Yeah, no I want to assure you, we'll bring, we'll bring a solution to this case. It's guys, not, it's guys, be polite. You know, don't be scream. scream this. So. If don't you want scream, to guys. see a solution, go for it. Be polite. I know the truth is painful, but be polite. And you will say, Yariv, you are right. Mr. Oppenheimer, my brother, be polite. I will answer you short and clearly. First thing. I don't want to use ugly words, but you are bullshitting mm -hmm. the people that You're watching childish, us right now. You know, because I can Arabs do the same. want to slaughter us. Arabs, Arabs want to slaughter us without any meaning to the conflict. When, when planes Why we have peace got into the Twin you know, Towers, they didn't Jordan, do it because of the conflict. When the guy Israel went to the truck and, and drive into a lot of people and murder a lot of people in Nice, he didn't do it because of the conflict. When the guy so, took ahead of this one is guy the reason. in England. This is he the didn't excuse. do it because of the conflict. Stop lying. Open your eyes. Don't lie to yourself. Because it's when you lie, you lie to yourself, you, you try to ignore the occupation. You try to ignore the conflict. And you this is so the reality. Smart. Eventually, you this is so the reality. Smart. In the eyes of you the Palestinians, so you, the okay, terrorists... Okay. Okay. Hang on, guys. Let me drop it. I want to ask this question. Because Oren Khazan clearly said he wants to send a message to these terrorists in Hamas. He wants to send a message to do you think what he did, what he's still doing, is an effective way he of sending a message? Send, he wants to send a message Hamas. Not to Hamas. Hamas will not listen. Hamas has one goal. Hamas wants to release their prisoners. They want a second Gilad Shalit deal. It's not for Hamas. It's for the world. It's for the Red Cross. It's for the UN. The UN that was supposed to keep the ceasefire. And is it effective, UN do you think? That video is... You can see. You, you, you will fact it. You will witness it. This video will get, or probably got, hundreds of thousands or perhaps millions of views and will get across the world. It's 10 times better in terms of effectiveness instead of sending the message than any speech, than any decision, than any condemnation in the UN or in the right. Right. Oren, just, let Oren, Oren, hang on, Oren's still with us. Right, Oren, you're hearing, you're hearing, I'm not sure, I think you heard what Nitsan had to say and your weave, you know, what's your thoughts? Do you think your message was effectively received around the world? Of course, my message got understood loud and clear. You can just watch the pictures from Gaza Strip yesterday. Hamas got punched in the stomach. Hamas is moving in his chair and don't know what to do. Because even Hamas didn't get used to a leader like me and my friends here that said enough is enough. The fact is that time after time they threat us. The fact is that time after time, doesn't matter what we do, they shoot missiles from school. They use kids as a shield and suddenly they see me that stop them and they got scared. You're, you're, I'm you're, telling you, they only really, understand yeah. force. The part of and the issue force here is, that, uh, is with us, the force will beat them, and we will be, in the end of the day, this, the only state in the Middle East that stay with their hand on the top. Are you, Riva, I want to ask you here, because Orhan Khazan is, is, is willing to do what he does. He does have now special security detail because of his life has been threatened by Hamas terrorists. He wanted to stand up, and he wanted to make sure that you know these families who are waiting to grieve properly to get their bodies of their fallen sons home, why should the families of terrorists be allowed to come to Israel to visit their alive prisoners when Hamas is violating international law? He was sending a message. I'm not supporting Hamas' position on this issue. I think Hamas should do other things. But Hamas is not a state. It's a terrorist organization that we are fighting. And, and therefore, we have reality. Eventually, reality will, will, will show that what Oren Hazan didn't bring anything good for Israel, just more hatred, and will make Hamas more stubborn or, or, on the deal. The only way... No, no, because it's of real, it's, real, it's Hamas not because is allowed to show we know the Palestinians not from just a second. Oh, oh, I, I, I want to get oh, 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 Okay, don't, don't underestimate Hamas. Hamas have a state in Gaza. In the next few years, he's going to be in the West Bank. Hamas' only mission have is to destroy the state of Israel. Hamas understand only power, and Hamas need to understand they are dealing with me right now. And as long they will not give us our boys and friends and soldiers back, they will not see them terrorists back here. And one more thing, uh, right, they that, will continue oh, we have to, leave it to there, act like this, they will get them back in a bags of... 
dead. You need to understand. All right, Orin, thank you so much for being with us. I know that you have a security detail because of those threats. We appreciate you being with us and appreciate our guests in the studio. We appreciate your time.